No. Yeah. It's a new day. Hopefully we can get some actual building materials today. Sorry for the delay, I was supposed to go online like an hour ago, but uh Dream gave me some new mods to update to hopefully fix the bugs from yesterday. We we'll try that right away. Oh, really? What? The microphone not working? Okay. <laughs> They're all trying to scam me here. This is. Hopefully this works now. I guess I can just test it with uh, the install. Nope. The patch is still broken. Lucky. Oh well, at least we can use the tanks now. No texture, but yeah, it doesn't crash at least. Good. Anyways, uh, I actually have no idea where we are now. It's been about 10 hours, I think. 11 hours since I last left. Let's take a look what happened when I was flipping. Yeah, it looks like we're solidly in LV at least, but I don't see any BF anywhere. Also, yeah, there's uh, <laughs> pretty quiet right now on the server. Most of the Americans are sleeping and the EU persons are away. Let's see if there's anyone on chat. Nope, it's just me for the yep, time being. Uh, I guess this is a good time for me to upgrade my tools. Hi. Oh, hi, hello. There is someone else. Yeah, right. You are uh, next to me. Is it, is it fixed now or? Uh, the tanks are fixed, yeah. There's no texture, but it, it works. Sadly, the theme hatch is still broken. So. I see. That's unlucky. But, but it doesn't crash, right? Yeah, it doesn't crash. Uh, Creo, so, oh yeah, let me try that. Find a bucket somewhere. Your salt is still broken. So basically, didn't fix any bugs except for the uh, Greg Tech or the modular UI one. That's something at least. Don't have to worry about these uh, over contraptions. Yeah. Uh, yeah we got the sigil. Oh, what? Is it activated already? Oh, it is. Ah. So I can make a healing axe? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh, we already got one. some for uh, for Adam. He was farming the whole time. Okay. Uh, do we have the diamonds for that? Is it like what three diamonds? We have ore in this chest, I guess. Oh, it's not, I guess. Fine, one tip twenty four. I'll take it. Do we still not have a single furnace inside? I don't think so. Amazing. In fact, I need to organize our workshop a little. I feel like this is so inefficient having to run around all that. Iron furnace area? I used the cursed earth from the. Uh from the sigil to build a farm here but it spawned a baby zombie yesterday that permanently killed us <laughs> great very safe uh, yeah okay. but they shouldn't be able to escape now i think i don't even remember the recipe for healing us ah yeah video sticks we get those. Oh yeah, obsidian and dual rods. Right. Now I just need to find any obsidian anywhere. I hope so because I cannot mine it. Maybe there's is there some in the small tree? Oh, how convenient. 
All this stuff is somebody else's also been making healing access. Clear up some inventory space before I try to craft things. If I had a chest. Uh, actually, no chest bit anywhere. Unlucky. Wait, did, what? Oh, so trying to scam me. It'll put tough reds. Right, uh. I think these explode. I'm just double check that I have the correct tool right there. No, you need to craft them once more. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, uh, right. You need I to guess. make two of it. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Um. Yeah, 10 seconds to craft this. Uh, let's go. Really guys. Nice. Somebody killed the waiter. Uh, I don't know who it was. But yeah, apparently you have another tar as well. Do you know what happened with the waiter? I heard something about them killing it at the uh, nether fortress, but that's all I know. No, we pretty much uh, spawned it in, inside the cave here, and Fotspo, I guess, killed it. Uh, yeah, I guess it's pretty easy to kill when there's no mob creeping. Just kind of gonna get it stuck. What's our power situation like? It looks like we only have two solar boilers, that's it. Check the roof. Hey, we have a mod here as well. Nobody used my solar roof. That. Ah, uh, right. More tools. I need to smelt some bronze. Actually, let me see. What do we need for the DBF? Have we even started making it yet? Looks like it. Unlevel chests. Oh no. It's going to be nice to. Anything kind of off camera mining. Uh, I guess we mined unstable ingots, that's pretty good. Also, we mined these LV machines, we found an LV machine vein. Hmm. Yeah, it's all a mess. Uh, what, what is the farm for, by the way, primarily? Do we need it for something? I just build it to use the cursors for something. Ah. <laughs> so, no use? Not really, no. Yeah. But if you have silk touch, we could make uh, that um, for that forest farm. I think that's much better. Get a lot of stuff from there. Do we need it for though? Do the um, mobs actually give any drops that we need? I think so. And their pearls, maybe, but that's the only thing that comes to mind. Pistons, I guess? Well, this one probably doesn't really. But if you build one in the trial forest, I can get a lot of weird stuff from there. Yeah. Like aluminium too, I guess. Aluminium? You would just like get it from ore berry? I guess. Uh, we, tr we tried to fix the creosote by updating to a new, uh, a new nightly, but it didn't fix it. It's still broken.
We have. Wait, can you make allied bronze in this military as well? Um. Yes, you can. Right now, I guess we'll take upper. Yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, let's me grab this. Make some tools. The leader map actually doesn't convey the messages to the server uh, unless you've been here. I, I think it checks your IP. So we should be fine on that front. If I can post this away and it's the healing act for now. Oh no. Uh, pretty sure I disabled it in the config. It's weird. Uh, Dream, try to ask Minecraft about the Verso uh, issue. I think Steam had issue as well. He was looking at the code, so he might know more. Oh no, I just wasted the circuits. Did you do? I made a toilet first bottle, but we seem to already had one. But I, the, the quest didn't register for some reason. Maybe someone did it who wasn't in the group yet. Yeah. Well, let me check the group if there is someone like this. Oh, right, actually, how many people do we have in the group? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13, okay. 14 people, and there have been a lot of 14 people on the server, so everyone should be in the party. It should be registered, I know. Also, the Twilight Forest is uh, amplified too. Looks terrible. Yeah, the, uh, the Minecraft server is whitelisted, so that's not a problem. It's just the DMAP server, which is public. Yeah, they want the hammer at least. I'm not hosting the server myself. The IP is the server's IP. Right, the chatter's IP, right. Well, actually, I didn't waste it since we need the quest anyway, I guess. Yeah, I guess. It's actually like a, I guess it's a main quest. But if you have the Twilight Portal, can we just like spam the solar boilers now? Like a bunch of them, so we can actually run the machines. I think someone already mined there, uh, it seems. So it'll be cool. Oh, there we go. I'm going to need more bronze. Might also make the coke oven stack because the coke, uh, the creosote does work fine when it's like kind of fluid. The buckets are just broken, so we could 
you have to be a rail for spoilers for that. So that means I need a bonsai farm. I'm just using redstone ore so the machines won't fail. That's a backup. Yeah. You forgot to take it off road. Yeah, no oil. Uh, I disabled oil from the water generation because it made the oceans look really bad. It's like oil sauce everywhere. We do have underground oil, so we can get oil at like MV. We'll see. We probably won't do oil for power at least. A hammer, let's go. I need an excavator. Probably don't need a lumber axe considering we have the bone size. Oh, Minecraft. We have more people. Server's not dead yet. Yay. Um, just the star about it and cost. Mm -hmm. High pressure farm, but there it is. What? Reinforced glass? Oh, I guess you can make this in LV. Yeah, I see. I don't think I've ever actually crafted a single one of these. Uh, the magic swords are really good from what I know, although I've never used them myself. They are annoying to ultimate though because they need infusion in like millions. Uh, the magic swords, these ones, they are uh, good up until IV. And after that, they just get super expensive because of the LUV recipe. Wait, has it been changed? I need a second. These have been made way better. Wait, are solars actually viable? This used to be like two of these uh, last year solar panels, but now it's only one, so they actually scale pretty nicely. Ooh. I actually might try doing these CUV solars. Huh. Interesting. I already forgot what the excavator needs. Oh, now the flower. Uh, oh, there's some extra here. I don't think the smelter floods had any problems yesterday. Any goals? 
uh, EBF, I guess. Although I have not looked at what the progress is like on that. Right now I'm just kind of catching up on the tool progression. I just made the healing axe. Uh, Excavator is coming up. I think we might have some extra, extra steel to make the spade to do crops more. But after that, I think I will actually start making a 24 cocoa and stack with rail plus boilers so we actually have enough steam to power power the ABF after we get it. There's actually a pool clear in here almost. Wait. Alright, now it's binding. You're getting distracted constantly. Yeah, Crystal and Steam had are still broken. Actually, let's probably make a quick test if the creosote is actually burnable in the boiler. Just so I don't waste a lot of time doing that. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Huh. If it works in if you uh, pump it in, so that works. That's good. Nope. It's like we're not doing these spoilers then. Mm. That makes getting enough steam slightly more troublesome. I think the steam boilers or thaw boilers are the only option we have. I don't know if I have my key points for the wrong weapons. E? What? Doesn't work. No. There we go. No. The solid boiler probably works, considering it only uses like one electric charcoal. But if we only have the solid boiler, it means we can't really do anything with the creel cells, so we waste half of the coke ovens. What's this? Orch <laughs> farm. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't work anymore because there's no skeleton in it. Rip. Also, there's missing a red zone. Wait, are you synced on the quest? Did you get the uh, Naga one? Or is it uh, per person? Like I'm synced, yeah, I got all the LV quests. I mean, uh, the Twilight Forest is uh, the, the snake. Yes. Snake. Uh... I think it's per person. I'm not sure. And kill all the things. Oh. Yeah, I have the another thing. Okay.
Okay, now I think I'm gonna start working on the steam as uh, lower borders now. See, maybe like 32 of them. Let me first count like how much they produce because I actually have no idea how good they are. 316 per second means it's 18 per tick divided by 2, so it's 9 EU per each. If I make 32 of them, there will be about 2 amps of MV. Pretty good enough. Good enough to run the EBF as well. First, I need to make a few chests, otherwise, I have no inventory space for anything. Still only two of these work tables. Ah, it's a mess. I should clean it up as well. Make my personal hole for here, I guess. Oh, I don't need sword, it's probably useless as well. Which is I can keep, I guess. Literally, I just probably keep fairly accessible here. This is looking good. What do you mean? It's a complete mess right now. I'm away for 10 hours and it's just like chaos. I guess the reinforced cloth is the most annoying thing here. Everything else seems fine. I guess the wrought iron is a little annoying. I don't have the arc furnace yet, I think. So I should probably start actually processing that. I remember how you can get wrought iron ingots. Uh, Let's just actually make a note track quickly. Need 96 of these classes. A bit old, which means I need 160 rough iron. I think we have the bending machine. I hope. Yeah, we do. Okay. So two and a half packs of iron nuggets, and then we run through a compressor. I got a little bit of extra, I guess. Wait, I, how, did, how did you make iron nuggets? <laughs> Actually, clueless. Uh, oh, still in chase mode. Whoops. Oh, okay, that's easy enough. Hello, smelter nugget. Who is that? We have a soul. Do we have a soul? We have to make a soul first. Ah, microcrafting. Okay, we have a soul. Good. Well, I, th I feel like this is going to break. Yep. Plates. Plates. Mm. Nice. We have tools to kind of around. Actually, I think I need a second one as well. Six. Why are we using coal coke in here? Well, 
We saw that eight of these have 27 stacks of iron nuggets, that's four stacks each. Redstone ore, nice. Which part does melt redstone? Maybe it's on purpose. It looks like it's on purpose. Hmm. I kind of want to make the framed or uh, framed drawers as well. I think they are. And what is the iron situation like? Really tough not having the ingots in like a drawer so you can see at a glance how much you have. Iron is pretty good, I guess. Yeah, in like a, a thousand right now. And there's want to be ores as well. I did this as well. I need broad iron. Uh, oh, I got this normal iron. Okay, that's fine. 96 of this means 24 advanced allies. Yeah. 24 advanced allies means we need 24 iron, 24 bronze, 24 tape. Keep it off. Bronze. I think we have bronze. Yeah, I need to make some. Where is the pipe? Sorry, no. Oh, I guess I'll saw if they are not. Was a stalling sound, so I don't think it was from the team one. Oh. Hmm. I need a soft mallet, I think. Fix that. Blown up by Twilight Lich. Rip. I think this entire thing is running on like 18 amps though. 18 year per tick right now. Oh, right. It's not working because it's night time, of course. Ah, uh, the choice of solar. I mean, just sleep all the time so you get power. Well. Uh, I found a desert marshmallow, so I think we should be able to kill the dragon now. Or set a waste, I don't know. Kill the dragon? I don't want to kill the dragon we need or something? I don't know what we could. Yes, but I don't pay. Well, unless I do props, we need to get the HP to get to the end, no? Or the ice. No, we, we already have. We're on the end. Uh, we I bought them from a villager. The eyes. Oh, I see. Okay. I can take this now. Here and wait. I'm trying to bend this. Is it like probably put some my marks? What does this use? 24? Oh no. Means I cannot leave it unattended. I was gonna dissolve. Unless I wait for this buffer to fill, then I can be like half, I think. Oh, anyways, I guess I'll try to find the glass first. 96 glass dust. Oh, okay, that's easy. <laughs> What? 
I hear something stalling constantly. Where is it coming from? What? Both chests. Weird. Sounds like a macerator, I think, maybe. Surround sound is putting me down right now. It has to be one of these, I guess. Nothing else can stall. Oh, yeah, there we go. Late. I feel like it's not getting any power. Did I just... I'm so confused about stalling right now. I hear it all the time. <laughs> right. Okay. I did, didn't think these make the same sound as the only machine. Have I claimed the confession in Quest Reward? No. Does my quest book look like I claim rewards? Uh, yeah, stone bricks are supposed to reflect and not so much, but uh, that's just because uh, I made everything reflect and it's removed the weird ones like wood and grass and dirt, but I missed a few, might notice. Yeah, the viewer situation is kind of weird because in this early mornings there aren't that many micro streamers, but also not that many viewers. And then the evenings, uh, the viewership goes up usually, but there's also like 100,000 other people watching the QSMP thing. So yeah, Minecraft is a fairly contested streaming territory. Wait, did it, did it, oh, yeah, the bronze, right, I was making it here. 24, that's exactly what I need. I'm gonna tweak particular blocks. Uh, you can go into the go into the uh, zip of the resource pack and just remove the specular maps. I think if you want to remove the sand, you just need to go to the assets slash Minecraft slash blocks slash between there. It's pretty easy to remove them. Let's see, are this full yet? Almost. I guess I'll just see how much it processes before it stalls. Pretty fast, it might be able to do everything. So, let's go take a look at the nuggets. Wow, so slow. It's gonna take forever. Well, I have time. Yeah, this is going to need a hopper. Uh, do you have an extra turn? Nope. Hmm. Where can I steal a hopper from? It's one of the... Uh, one of the coke ovens or furnaces here is fine. Ah, uh, but I think it's exhausting to the top. 
Double check. Yep. Um, no wrench. No. You good? Is there a hole here? Yes, the look, there's a multi for it, but if we go with the massivator here, I don't think it's going to work either. Because the problem is the C notch. Oh. Yeah, the match is still broken. The only thing we fixed with the update was the uh this uh fluid tank's not crashing here anymore. Hopefully maybe for tomorrow we can get another update again and try. <laughs> or even later later today, we'll say. No one left the game. Was he in here yet? I think he forgot to restart his client. Um, probably use the coke. Coke for fuel. I guess I can pick for some magic stuff. Did we try to input hatch in a different spot? Yeah, mine has tested the steam hatch extensively and you cannot pipe it in from any side anywhere. It just doesn't work. Uh, I think you look at the code. The problem was with uh, it trying to match the crack tech steam with like the GT steam. But the weird part is that I the code has been changed, so it has been doing that thing like always, but it's worked before. Probably something to do with like the ordict missing a step somewhere, I don't know. Oh almost. Like copper plates, I didn't make those. Wait, what? Where do we get oil from? The quest, quest rewards. <laughs> yeah, there we go. One of my questions is where do you get X from? And this is under quest rewards. I hope we can get some proper automation going today at least. I am actually <laughs> I am actually really bad at microcrafting. Like I have to be carried through the early game and otherwise I do nothing. Oh 
Oh, I just realized we might actually have to do uh, bio-based polio tunnel because we don't have any easy access to oil. That, should, that shouldn't be a problem because we found the two brewing stands in the roguelike, so we can already make the uh, brewing machines. Oh, the compressor is so slow. Um. Anyways, this I supposed to done. Done. Steel pipe. Stack of them. Uh, 60, 66 steel ingots. I think we have that right now. Oh, we might actually. Pretty promising. One. Oh yeah, we do. Nice. Need to bend all of those. I have to make sure it's daytime so I actually get power. We should also probably do the math on the water tanks, how many I need. I'm guessing about... wait... Somebody actually broke the chair stocks. And the sugar beets, are they here? What? I'm being briefed. <laughs> That's a shame. Gotta do the Twilight Liberance now. I hate that one. You know what happened to the tear stalks and the sugar beets? They're just gone. Um, no. <laughs> we have an imposter in here. I'm dodging my crops. Your stout is probably fine because it wasn't set it up at all. I can just get um, stuff the secret up when I get the scanner and then get it again. But yeah, kind of, kind of annoying considering I was pretty lucky getting it. A biome. Uh, right, uh, I guess you can see it in the map. River, yeah, uh, okay. Forest, yeah, I, th I think the entire... Yeah, and the entire island is mostly forest. There's a few areas of river and beach. Yeah, most of this forest. Silver, hmm. I think you have to any two actually. 21, how many I need? I need 36 turquoise silver plates. I guess it's like, yeah, this is three each. That's a lot of silver, almost 300. Yeah, I think we can go mining in the Twilight Forest with this new hammer te test. If you want to do it now, while everything else is progressing as well. We make some more... Make some more torches first. Is pollution turned off? Yeah, it is. It does, uh, my personal opinion is that it doesn't add anything to the game. It just makes building nice looking bases annoying with the smog and the other grass dying. So oh, it's just much easier for us to disable it. Oh, 
How far are we? Um, I'd say mid LV. We have a fairly decent workshop going, but no progress on EBF yet. We have the healing axe. I think, yeah, we found the enchantment table in the roguelike. So we could just craft it for everyone. We have the division signal here, yeah, activated. I might probably take a few repair materials. Brass, no, bronze. I have a crafting table somewhere. No. Where can I see one? There's one. Read it. Uh, do you know where the Twilight Portal is? Did you make it somewhere? Oh, that looks that one. Yeah, I think I found it. Yeah, I have it. We have multiple ones. One is also next to the another portal. What? Okay, that's an interesting portals place. And an arc. I think it's a golem over that I need to find. I can almost read this text. Hmm. Real light vein. Yeah, I'm just sort of excavating. I assume nobody has been here in mining, so. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> that's a convenient vein. What? Interesting. I does this? Oh, okay. Prospecting in the toilet part is so nice because it's so low, so you have to mine a few blocks to see the ores. Oh, okay, somebody has been mining here. What is this? This is about that. Okay. Can I ores? Didn't pluck clean. Somebody has been putting the hammers to use. Um, I assume that's not silver. So you're going to check. Oops, kind of like a silver one. Yeah, silver ore, easy. That's how we're gonna get our steam, I guess. Oh, hammer. What? What? Is it what? Oh, what? That's new. Okay, if you hold shift while hammering, it looks like it only breaks one block. That's cool. Yeah, so that means you actually don't even need a pickaxe at all. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm so used to mining with holding when holding ships all the time. I have to unlearn that. Oh yeah, true pickaxes. Yeah. You can actually still use for building. Let's place a single block.
mining stream, let's go. How's it going? Pretty good. A bit quiet right now still. It's fairly early for the Americans who are the most targeted, so just me mostly. Trying to get some uh, energy production going before they come online so we can actually start progressing faster. We just have to wait for the steam to build up. I'm currently working on making half a stack of these high pressure solar boilers. Should be able to run the EBF as well. I only need around three stacks of silver for everything. But process is also a macerator. I think I'll mine out four or five, just in case. I probably should have put some redstone on this thing before I left. Oh, should also probably mark the portal before I forget. I think that's See the player, yeah, I can barely see it on the reflections. I think this is my first time ever mining Cryolite in this game. Last run, it was added after we were past MV, so we never needed to mine it. Yeah, I think we could also make the LV minor, but uh, it's less useful with this many players. It's pretty good when you're a single player, but like we have so many people who can just mine. It's gonna be faster for them to just mine while others process. Yeah, I am right thing with that timer. I don't know if you didn't notice that. Just switching to the parts from my hot bar. Machines are good friends, they never stop logging into your world, it's always there. Are we doing any bees or crops? Yeah, I already did some crops yesterday, got some sweet creed in like 10 minutes, which was pretty lucky. Uh, and we have at least two people who have said that they will be doing bees as well. Probably after we get uh, settled in in the new base, so it's gonna be a while. Sixty more silver. Does it be enough? Cobalt that was gonna break the TPS for a while. Let's see what it looks like with four people. That is surprisingly high. What tier do you recommend to start ore processing? I like to do it with steam machines, uh, assuming we have access to the rail platform, rail track spoiler. This time we don't, so probably. Actually, I have no clue. 
Like I, I like to do with single block machines with Steam. Uh, maybe we'll do it with multi blocks because they were made earlier. I think the Master for example, is the like EV now. What's where is it? But... Yeah, like this is. I think this is. Uh, EV. I can find the controller. So many things. Ah. Uh... It's even called. A blind? E acceptor. <laughs> but uh, I probably won't be the one making the or processing, processing anyways, so. Can't really comment on where we're gonna do it anyways. I'll just make a building for it. So I, I was thinking that we might actually have like, like can I push the wall here somehow? Oh, anyways, uh, I'll go back home and show when I'm back home. Oh yeah, I guess it's sprint everywhere now. Healing acts so nice. I think we got the Twilight Portal while I was sleeping. And we didn't have it when I locked up. I actually use the battle grid slot a lot. Like I usually hold my certain squad branch in here and my builders one as well and a uh, third slot. You cannot normally put them in there, but you can kinda squeeze it in there using the backpack. Kinda funny. How are we going to deal with resource allocation? Uh well the main idea is like passive everything, so everything's just constantly stockpiling. It's not really a Problem after IV, I would guess, when I get automated mining. Uh, before then, we, well, at least so far, it has been mostly one or two people crafting things and using resources while everyone else is like helping, helping to get them. Mostly Adam and Delano, I think. But I, I don't think resources are going to be a problem. It's really easy to get almost infinite resources this game. It's mostly about processing it. <laughs> I didn't realize. Looks like it's shared. Interesting. Oh. Ah, whoops. I think this might be because I used the um, scanner here. Yeah, this shouldn't be happening. I didn't realize it because I had the things off. So yeah, I can like, check where my guy is, I think. I don't think this is my I'm sure. Yeah, there's the Mica. Cheating. Yeah, I guess I could delete the folder. I deleted it. Let's see if it's like real time. Nope, I guess I need to log in. Come on. Yeah, we still, well, the entire LV line is running on these sea boilers. But yeah, it's not too good. Oh, my steam is done. I make the pipes. Are we going to move to a personal den? Nope. 
I like to build in the overworld because the sunrises and sunsets are really nice. So I like the dynamic dynamic lighting that gets from that. And also I really enjoy like building around terrain. It's so much better than just a flat plane. No rain for spoilers yet. Uh, yeah, we have a bug on this version that we can cannot use the code going creosote slots for anything. And the liquid boilers do not accept any fuels. That's why we don't have rain for spoilers. Uh, we're gonna use the solar boilers to get to LV, or maybe even MV, I think. And then we're probably gonna do benzene until we get some better fuel types. Maybe we can do nukes, we'll see. Yeah, the, I am running on Trauma 19 actually, using the Graal VM, GVM. Uh, the shader pack is complementary, which I have modified using... Well, I used the one that Rodney made on the Crack Tech New Horizons Discord, and just modified it to with my tastes, and then I made this resource pack to add reflections to things. Uh, you can get the shader pack on my Discord, which will be a link in the bio. Oh yeah, what, what version am I on? Yeah, so this is a nightly from nine, nine uh, actually four days ago that I just updated 10 months in. So it's like a Frankenstein version right now. Uh, we actually have a, a Python script that I wrote on the server that automatically updates the months of people who are, are trying to like launch a pack. So that's why it's like really convenient for me to uh, update individual months because nobody else has to worry about it. Aren't the latest version is super broken? Well, yeah, as you can see. But uh, we have so many devs here that this is kind of like a testing run as well. We can use this to like uh, charge out all the bugs in the early game so we can actually get a stable release at some point. So think of this as community service. What? What? This is sign. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what's causing this. Maybe the healing axe. Weird. Go we'll grab some more compressing things. Oh, except yeah, my inventory is completely filled. Where are you off? You are on this charcoal, right? How did I jump so high? Uh, there's this coin field purple slime. If you stand on it, it gives like a jump boost. <laughs> I don't know why it's there, honestly. Kind of fun. Wait, if I smell this, it gives me nuggets, right? Yeah. I don't want to crash it down before I do. Wait, I just realized, don't they have the uh, mold for making ingots? Can that make wrought iron like 10 times faster because it's a lot smelter? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay. That would. Speed things up. Well. Ah, I need to clean my inventory at all. Just dump it in here for now.
only four people on right right now. And like it's like one AM for most people and yeah, one PM. And the Americans are still sleeping. So hopefully in about four three to four hours there should be more people. Actually, we have mostly Europeans. We have seven people in the States, uh, ten people in the European Union, and then one people in Australia. But most of the builders are European, and they don't uh, play it because, well, I don't know. I guess they don't want to suffer through the early game as much as the target players do. So we might see some new people here in about a week when we actually get the base going and actually start planning the base. Uh, yeah, yesterday we were like 12 people in voice chat at the same time. Oh, there, what? there is actually a fan somewhere, what? If I ask where you got this from, probably quest rewards. Yep. Up to the lake it goes. What's the hardest part about Project New Horizons? Uh... Probably getting a party that actually doesn't quit. Well, if you're playing single player, then it's just like not burning out. Nothing is like individually hard. Just have to like put in the time. But it's hard to stay dedicated to the pack. I guess it, it takes so long to finish. Oh, this is only like four year per tick, that's why it's not stalling. Nice. Oh, yeah, rain tank. I'll just start making a few more as well. I can't really use the steam boilers to put this stuff down. Uh, siding is the thing I need. Yeah, so it's just. Iron rods. I think we have lead. I think we can use that. Or uh, probably not worth it to use steel for it yet. So I'll just use iron. Oh, uh, yeah, I missed that. Uh, are you planning to build in that bottom left area? Yeah, so these are like the starter island. I was thinking we might have like. Um, a mid game base in this bay area after like maybe IV or LUV set up some ass lines and proper automation and then the main base will be like this entire eastern peninsula of the main continent but we'll have to like terraform it a lot because it's really high uh, because the uh, the terrain is amplified so it's gonna take <laughs> probably a few weeks to flat the area down this is a run from scratch uh, yeah, I guess. We started the world yesterday. Uh, if that counts, then yes, it's from scratch. Did I get updated? Actually, I don't know. I might have, but I don't think so. I think you need to stream for seven days, so... <laughs> I mean, somebody can try subscribing if they want to see if I'm affiliated or not. But I don't think so. I don't think I am. Uh, the fluid bug is partly fixed, like the tanks won't work now, it doesn't crash anymore if it, it, it has no texture. But the poke ovens still uh, don't work, and the C matches either. You have encoders. Oh, so you can, you can choose your own... Um, actually, let me see my own Twitch. Oh yeah, okay, you can change your quality now, okay. But I don't see any subscribe button at least, so... No. Maybe Twitch thought that I needed the encoders. Yeah, could be. Did I log into an EBF? Uh, sadly no. We only have the machines, but I think EBF is like next. We have everything we need for it though, I believe. 
But we don't have the power generation to run the EBF, so no point in doing it. I am working on making a half stack of these spoilers now, so that should help. Bomb betray to 8. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is 8. Let me see. Output. Oh. Okay, uh, looks like Twitch is enforcing 6000. Yeah, I don't think I can change the tire. Hydrohead? Where? What? Did I miss something? Uh, I don't think we're going to do any fuel, and uh, we're probably only going to use oil for polyethylene, if, if that. We can push the MV with just the solar boilers and then just transition the benzene, that was easier. Yeah, the, the thing is, <laughs> I think you need like 12 viewers or something to get affiliates, and I'm about 10 times that already. But the, the minimum requirement is that you need to stream for seven days. So that's gonna take six more days. Something is stalling here. Uh, not this one. I guess these steam boilers are on like two EU per tick, that's why. We do have these things, so I guess we could use them. We fire them up. Oh, it's blue weirbo. More players. Almost everyone from Europe is online. Well, not really. Half of them. Yeah, I, I checked the requirements yesterday, and yeah, partner is like 75 concurrent viewers and 12 days of streaming. But I also, somebody was chatting that getting a partner is kind of arbitrary and that which, uh, which people can just say no. So yeah, I, I mostly I just want the affiliate, I guess. Partner would be nice so I could make the streaming like team and have all everyone who streams this run be like under the one, one name, so you can see who's online. What? I know how to use spoilers, guys, I swear. How are you sure we won't finish in 12 days? What if we will? World's first sub one sub one month Stargate. <laughs> yeah, probably not. It's probably gonna take more than a month just to build the base for six people. Ah, correct that came late. It's waiting for machines to process. I guess I can pick my hammer while I'm waiting. Well, if you go check my YouTube right now, you can actually see that yesterday's stream is already uploaded and viewable. So yeah, I am. Um, uploading videos to YouTube, but I, I, I won't be editing them. I, I just don't have the time or motivation to edit edit like eight hours of content down. So yeah, the, the raw board is all you, all you get in, on YouTube. And you're doing on open computers. Uh, at the minimum, I will be using Nidus 1.0 for the power display, but depends on how much like off time we have with progression and building. Uh, I might do like dev streams for another 2.0 and try to get that running. 
I like most of the base using that. It would be pretty nice. Tried to get it done before the run, but I didn't find the time right, sadly. Yeah, all my computer specs are, well, not all, but most most important ones are in this channel uh, description. But yeah, it's it's uh it's one of the newest RTX ones. What has bad quality? Uh, I think that's because YouTube takes a while to process like eight and a half hours of footage. So if you check back in about twenty hours or so, I should be good. I think I checked that the low quality one is. Takes like five hours to process, and the high quality is about eighteen hours, so it should be done in, in about six hours. But I I did upload it in my original like UHD resolution at sixty fps, so it should be fine on my end. Is there anything I could do? <laughs> Let's just wait for this machine. I guess I can get bricks. I need. And half stacks of bricks. I'm pretty sure I saw them somewhere, unless they're all gone already. Yeah, there's one stack. And there we go. Oof, perfect. Make more machines. Yeah, but the problem is we don't have the scheme to run them, so <laughs> it's kind of useless. Your mini. Hello. Where are you here? Okay, I guess you're not here anymore. Make more boilers. What, what does it look like I'm doing? Oh, uh, asbestos. The toothbox. I think I left it down here. <laughs> Let me get it. Uh, yeah. There you go. I would love to use Raypark boilers, but they are very much not working in this version we are playing, sadly. I need to figure that out. <laughs> but probably when they get fixed, we'll already be fast using them, so. No Raypark boilers this run. <laughs> oh, and it's just farming uh, in game hours, so he gets the target troll as well. Wait, did I get too many bricks? Oh yeah, I got one stack extra. Uh, Dream only gave me like updated mods. No, I didn't get any like old mods. They have no rollbacks. Oh, we have 24 for our diamond. Oh. Uh, fluid book for the tanks is fixed. Fluid book for the co comments is not fixed. No power. Great. Oh yeah, the lathe, is, uh, lathe has taken it all. What a massive waste of materials this thing was. The only thing I've used for player teleportation lately is, is the blood magic transposers. But I have not touched magic once in my life, so I can't really tell how those things work yet either. Actually, I have teammates to do magic for me.
Take a piston boots. Why? I can I enjoy jumping. <laughs> I also we, I'm like one of the only persons who hates the traveler's boots. They make it way too fast. I think I've ever used piston boots, and I probably never will. Is the longest early game voltage? Probably HP, I would say, because it's rocket. LV is still kind of fine because you don't have that many things that you can like sidetrack on, but at H3, you're gonna start automating like passive setups already. So if you don't stay focused, it can take really long. After H3, you get A2, uh, which means everything is just feels so much better because you can auto crash things. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if it's fine. Uh, I don't really need to mine like high tier things, so I don't, I don't see the need to upgrade it. But yeah, I made the run still such, such that I can build easier excavate areas. Also healing axe. Healing axe is pretty nice, don't have to worry about uh food. Oh, what the hell? I feel like with 18 players we're gonna put everything on autocrafts. Like somebody needs some obscure single machine. You just put it on autocraft just in case somebody else needs it to someone as well. Like patterns are basically free, so there's no downside to having everything on autocraft anyways. Eight hours in. I don't think it was that fast. Because I, I trained for eight and a half hours and uh we didn't have the healing extra next week. So more like ten hours in, I think. We have steam yet. Yeah, we do. And process a few more things. Oh, what's the priority? What's a priority? I guess I should take it away just on this last one. Actually, just press this now. Need to grab the right in. I'm actually missing two of these. Damn it. Do you have any spares? Uh... Yes, exact. Oh, wait, I'm not missing a single one. Yep. Okay, fine, I'll just do it with the file. Here we go. With more wire tanks. Why do I want to put this? Mm. Mm. I'll here. Like how much does this let's see the humidity is 70% so and a half it's and a half the second okay three is enough so yeah okay that should be good middle points Let's do all sets of eight, I guess. Better with the arms I'm making. It's um, Why do I not use in-game info? Uh, I like my screen to be as clean as possible, and I just hate how the uh, thing looks. I don't find any of the information to be useful except for me at time, and even that is kind of dubious. So yeah, I like to have it off. And it also reduces my FPS slightly, so I'm trying to squeeze all the performance I can get.
Oh yeah, I remember I just give more. Mm, true. And at least no, if I have a key point for it. Uh oh, stream commercials. What? Okay. I think I might have disabled it in my mod options. Oh config girl shall have true. Not uh A okay. problem. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. So uh, this is. Okay, river is eight point fifty percent humidity, and then move like over here as far as eighty percent. So that means I have them right here. Okay. Not good thing I checked. Did it work? Oh, okay. That's for minute. I think I can check like the biome orders like this here. Forest. Yeah, just like I chose the only few thoughts in the river. Oh actually I think it's fine where it is right now. Yeah, it's forest as well. For the most part. I don't have to move it. I like to make my own in-game info using open computers. What can I say? But, uh, that doesn't look right. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be full. Middle block. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, I guess that's the one that matters. I got to actually see it from the ticks. Yeah, it's going up by eight. This is also eight, so they are in a good biome. It would be five if it is in the river. I never had the patience to sit down and code. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm kind of supposed to have the patience considering like I'm a software engineer, or at least trying to be. I kind of need to need to be able to do that. Actually, all these things, I'm just waiting for this to process. I will show the single player world where I usually dev my Nidus. So, the progress on that. Well, it's not that much to show, but. Well, that went well. Um, hmm. Let's try again. There we go. 
the glass isn't reflective. Let me fix that. Oh, that was the wrong button. Take a while. The main reason I've started doing things with open computers is because I got fed up with the nuclear control panels that constantly glitch it out. So I started to make a replacement in open computers. And now we have NIDAT, which is mostly hot based instead of in world. I guess success. There we go. Reflective glass, finally. Okay, I'm not sure if this even works. Let's see. It should work. I haven't changed it. And the GUI module of this is mostly done. This does not work. When it does, okay. That's uh, just how it's supposed to go, though. Hmm. <laughs> Great. Anyways, yeah, thanks. Uh, but the main thing is this connectivity to the crafting machines. So you can actually, um, you should be able to connect to all of them and just detect them all for like inter uh, machine communication here. Yeah, no, that's it's on my GitHub. Do I have a background in anything to do with visuals or programming? Well, I, uh, I've studied to be an automation engineer for five years. So that's where the, like the software background comes from. For the visuals, I not, not really, I always just like nice looking things. And yeah. That's where it comes from. Yeah. The, uh, okay. That's a little bug, but you can see that, uh, this is the main computer, which has the uh, AR glasses. And this is a completely disparate computer and I can see its things. Except, yeah, bugs. I think if I reboot this, it should work. In days. Yeah, this is my like small dev dev hut where I code things. But this is pretty much the same. Um, same style I'm going for with the main base as well. I'm just going to start getting the materials I'm actually making things. You have a GH? That's the GH. GitHub. I I yeah I must it, I think it's Samsa with the first A replaced with a four. Um, I don't think I have linked it anywhere. Let me see. I definitely linked the Nida Nida repo. There we go. Oh, it works. Yeah. Uh, but this is like test uh, tech demo right now. Uh, it's not really functional uh, or useful for anything. But um, I'm hoping to make it so that you can just like plug in every single graphic machine you have and then just walk up to it and you can see the things and maybe even have some buttons to like disable it or you need on your pod so you can see uh, machine progress. But yeah, that's, that's the state of NIDA 2.0 right now. So that's the framework done for the networking mostly, but as much functionality. Although after the framework is done, it's, it's pretty fun to make the hot elements, for example, the uh, power display and things like that. So it'd be, it'd be nice to have some uh, dev streams for that as well, maybe. And see how, how I make the things. And if let's go back to the main server and try to get the solar boilers going.
Hmm. It's my wrought iron gun, maybe. Did I just... This feels weird doing LV tech. Like it when you look at it at the first glance, it looks kind of expensive. But then you start doing it, it's just so cheap compared to like the Stargate things where you order a craft and wait for two weeks for it to finish. Weird. Like what? I started doing these borders an hour ago, and they're almost done already. Interestingly, I actually have deep learning and artificial intelligence as my minor for my matrix, but I still haven't touched just GPT at all for anything. I only looked at like how it works, uh, and I I think I'm fairly confident on how it works, like tech, on the technical side, and that kind of puts me off from it. Like I, I know how that it can be, but I I don't know test it at some point. It can be good for some things, but yeah, I, I don't trust it for making code. If I let's see how long it takes until he comes back. Actually, what did the time plate look like? Oh, I'm still third. Well, I'm cheating with two hours of generating the uh, island. <laughs> well, Rubix has been grinding 14 hours on the first day. Damn. Oh, it's night time. We're gonna run out of the oh the oil. Okay. Oh, uh, it's a steel pipe spliced on the ground. I don't know why. Halfway done with this. This is almost done though.
three power stars. Uh, two solar boilers. That's about it. That's a few small ones as well. Powering the steam machines for the damage, not just these two. But I am making a half attack of these. Should be good for the EBF. Hmm, solar bodies actually mean I could probably make like two or three more thin turbines. Oh, it's not there is free. Hmm, I probably spare some iron here. Use a hammer. I time in my inventory. Okay. Probably not the most most efficient way to do this, but I will. How much does this take? Do we ever take? Why have I been using this all the time? Yeah. I guess it's a little harder to automate. At the end of all in the description, uh, yeah, probably should. Although I need to make sure that the people cannot talk in game with it. Also for today's stream, uh, I'll be streaming for about four and a half hours more. And I'm I have to go for about one and a half hours, and then I will stream more in the evening as well. I have a weekly sauna reservation every Sunday, so <laughs> need to use that. But hopefully by then we have more people streaming, so you can watch them while I'm away. What am I studying? Uh, control robotics and automation software. So basically, yeah, yeah, automation things, automation engineering. But I'm all, I am heavily software focused, so I I know some hardware, but I'm mostly interested in like deep learning and controlling robot arms instead of making them. How old am I? I am twenty four years old. I, uh, yeah, I, uh, it's my last year of studying. I was supposed to do the physics, physics this year, but I didn't manage to do that, so I'm going to do it next year. And after that, I should graduate with my master's. Are we talking UI path or MS Power Automate suit? Uh, I've never heard of either one of those. Automation here is like, or control is for robot, uh, robot arms or control theory and things like that, state machines. Uh, but there's like no specific um, software suit that I'm like trained on right now. Like universities, they don't really provide that kind of training. It's more like applied things. <laughs> you have a robot arm in real life. Uh, yeah, sure. Let me just real quick make some space time bending metal. <laughs> I think I think it needs that. Yeah, <laughs> space time too. Sure, give me a DTPF in real life and I'll make you one.
you know, automation is cool in some parts, but then some other parts are really annoying. For example, the industry is really reluctant to change, which means all the software you will be using for like uh, factory automation are about 20 years old and the UI looks like there's like no thought given to it. That's like a really annoying part. And hopefully I can change that somehow because I really enjoy clean UIs and the user experience, which you might see from the NIDAS. I, I try to make it as easy to use and look nice. But yeah, if you try working in the industry, expect to work on things that are 20 years old or more. But then again, if you are working on like the cutting edge stuff, like using uh, deep learning and machine learning uh, and AI to control robots, then that's going to be like really cutting edge and nice. And I'm hoping I can do that. I'm supposed to put this still or just melt. Ah, you're getting distracted. Digital twin robotics is modern -ish. Yeah, actually, I've done some digital twin stuff. Uh, we had a project where we made a VR application that allowed you to control a digital twin inside a inside Unity, and it controlled a real robot arm. And we actually got it to work. It was pretty cool. I did most of the VR related things there. Are we having courses in the lower side of things? I uh, yeah, I I think they are necessary for everyone. Uh, in my major at least, I've had courses on microcontrollers like Arduino's. Uh, we had a few courses where we created things in like an electronics lab, but uh, I never had to solder anything, and that's a good thing because for some reason my hands are like really shaky. I think it's like genetic because my dad has the same thing. So I, I'm really bad at soldering anything. I'm glad I'd have to do that. Nope, wood stove is still broken. Or at least the coke ovens. Uh, but the tanks work, so that's good. That's the main part because uh, all, the, uh, all the machines have tanks. Almost the average world iron and a bit more. <laughs> That's a stark contrast to the early game, having to wait for two hours to process three stacks of material, then you go late game and process like 20,000 stacks in one second. That's silly. Out of the Helsing University MOOC. I think I looked into it, but I didn't have the time because I was already doing like courses on programming uh, for my own university. But yeah, I, I can also recommend it. It's really high, high grade.
the thing about like low income and low cost of living countries is that yeah while day-to-day -day life might be kind of better in that sense uh that you don't have to pay as much staying cutting edge with technology like with new computer components is going to be really expensive because that's not really price that trusted everything is almost the same uh i same cost so if you want to buy a new gpu you need to work like three times more and then in that sense living in a high income country is better but if, if that's not a priority then it doesn't really matter i guess I think I need plates for this. Yep. Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> I think this recipe is supposed to exist. Yeah, plates, 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 plates. What's the same situation like? Pretty good. Like this water tank is my favorite spot at this point. It's gonna be so nice later on. We have a big base, you can just wander around while waiting for this process. It's actually gonna be so nice with six builders that you can just kind of stumble into places you probably haven't even seen. I like how there's four people in the Discord call and every single one of us is muted. Weird. Oh, I joined muted because I just thought that. Uh, yeah, hello. Hi. Oh, sorry, I just checked your stream. No, I just joined muted because everyone else was. Oh, but, uh... yeah, I, no, I'm just muted here because like I'm talking to the stream, so there's any point in you know, having myself not muted here. So, yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, I'm happy to talk to you, or you can just go out to talk to the stream. And... I just do both. I mean, it's not that hard to mute and go back and forth. Okay. Uh, well, I'm joining, hopefully. I launched the client, and nothing's happened, which means I'm hoping means the update thing is working. Yeah, it's a fairly big update. It's like uh, 50 megabytes, I think. So it might take a while with your house internet to download all the mods. How many megabytes? 50. 50's not that much. <laughs> like, <laughs> it is for you. For me, it's like a few nanoseconds, maybe. Well, maybe wait a moment, yeah. Like, I have like, I have like <laughs> 50, 50 Mbps down. Like megabits. It should only take a few seconds. Yeah, it still hasn't activated, I'm thinking. I don't know, unless the... What, where does it download from? The server, Finland. Right. I'm using the server as I like that. Uh, uh, file host as well. Right. Okay. I'm just hoping it's not a uh, super throttled or anything. Yeah, it should be like 
I, I got pretty good downloads there from 70 megabit, megabytes per second. Megabit. Hmm. It's still not launching. Are you able to check the uh, status of it? Just make sure that it's not frozen. Uh, I think I can actually check it from the console. Give me a second. Because there was that issue last time where, like, if more than one person was trying to update it, like, bricked. Yeah, it should be only one right now. Okay, well. Yeah, it's it's uploading. Okay. Four mods okay. sent. Yeah, I sent it the correct text one. It's taking a while. Right, okay. Weird. My internet's definitely not that slow, so... What's going on? Yep, correct. The consent. Now there's GT plus plus core mode, modular UI, not enough items, tech tech, result prospecting. So it's gonna take okay. a few minutes, I guess. Okay. Nice. Oh, but yeah, it seems to be working. <laughs> I'm just stream on, but you should so see what's going on. Yeah, I'm just working on the steam boilers. I also have half stack of them done. You killed a wither already? Um, yeah, show me the healing axe. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my lord. I like how Minecraft wow. spent like four hours yesterday trying to make the Healing Axe quest and then it was just crafted yeah. the Healing Axe anyways. Who had the balls to go into the nether and like do a bunch of... The winner isn't bad. I think the biggest like accomplishment for the thing was the enchantment table that I think G got from the roguelike. Yeah. Like that was really lucky that we found one. Yeah, I told you there was one in the roguelike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was right. I just didn't believe it, though. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. So, so do you nice. have a healing axe, or is it just, like... Uh, I, I just crafted my own. You don't really have to make one as well. Oh. Yourself. Alright, fair enough. But it's just three, three diamonds, is the main part. A little bit of obsidian yeah. through the smelt ring. We still haven't found a diamond vein, have we? Oh no, Minecraft found one last night. Uh, we have 21 diamond left, I think. Oh, that's fine then. I'll oh, you enter this. We do plus plus then, so now it's sending four mod. After that, everything should be small. Our tech stack might be big. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it was actually working and not just yeah, like yeah. stuck. Yeah. I'm surprised that it actually works like this. Like I would think, it, uh, like the code is really simple. Just tries to send the binary stream, but I guess that uh, TCP IP handling that's the thing. It made so much progress when I was going. It's like all the stone bricks and everything. Still, still no EBF. Machines. No, no EBF yet. What? Yeah. How many BBFs started? Two still. Only two BBFs still. I know, right? I would have thought we had way more. Yeah. I mean, I can go mine like fucking gravel if we need. Also, hi chat. Aussie here. That sound in the background sounds familiar. Uh. Do you mean like the music? No, I'm familiar. I'm the sound in the background. Uh, the music, I'm just playing some... Uh, let me actually, I can show it. It's a hard playlist with things that I usually listen to when I play anyway. So, this is like really slow tempo. I can, if, if you want some higher... Uh, Higher beats. Add two dollar media show, bro. <laughs> I have no idea how. Up. Nah, fair enough. Could I'll, uh -oh. I'll spend some banging music. Still got one hundred twenty-two viewers. That's really good. Yeah, I think it was like 70 when I went live, so it's been steadily going up. Yeah, People cool. wake up. Yeah, this uh, the east, like... east Coast would be waking up at this time, I think. Yeah. Like 8 a.m. I was assuming, honestly, it was going to be like day one balls run. Yeah, like, you know, 300 viewers going to be crazy. And then everyone's going to watch it and be like, wow, I actually really hate watching Greg Tech early game. I'm never going to watch this stream again. Yeah. <laughs> I hope the stream content is going to be better after we get to like IV or LUV and actually start getting proper building streams. Nice. Yeah, when we start actually building. Oh my god, the iron furnaces. 
Maybe I do it though. Wait, can't you put uh, conveyors on on furnaces? No. I mean, these poppers are so much cheaper than conveyors, so. True, true, yeah. It's crazy how many viewers I'm getting. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty insane that I'm actually averaging over 100 viewers considering I've, I've never streamed before. Like, yeah, it helps that I have a pretty big following for my Discord, but still, like, I wasn't really expecting this many viewers already. I'm kind of hoping it'll go up up more when we get the higher tiers because it's going to be a fairly unique content, I think. Like, modded Minecraft yeah. uh, builds with the style is a thing I've never seen before anyone stream. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Like right now, this is really cookie cutter early game practice, and everyone is doing that. Everyone with like four people. But yeah. Let's see. Well, so to be fair, Steelux, our early game was fun because we had 18 people, and also because we have keep inventory. So we just had like Rubik's death rushing. Yeah. Keep <laughs> inventory. 45 deaths. Yeah. 45 deaths with two slash homes. Like, I mean, and sorry, and creep inventory. Like, that makes the early game a lot more bearable. It's going to be more and more grindy and less and less relatable. I mean, yeah, the progression wise, yeah, it's going to be, but like, I, in, in, the, in the mid game, I won't be progressing. I'm going to be building a base. And I think that's like, that might be interesting because I've had multiple people ask me if I stream the buildings because, like, it's, I guess it's interesting to see how you make or how I make those futuristic buildings, see them like you know, work in progress and that. But, like, I kind of predict the future, but I don't, I'll be streaming anyways. Lux says your favorite tier is IV. That's that's crazy. It was a good tier, but I don't think it was my favorite. Probably could use some work though, but it's already so full. It's got so much stuff to do in IV. Yeah, I think a lot of people who play Greg Tech are good at automation. Like you're gonna need to do it. I think well from what I've seen like seventy percent or more are have some kind of STEM background. But yeah, uh builders are fairly rare, so that's I guess why uh my base is stand out. They stand out less nowadays that everyone is building in the same style, but yeah. The nice thing about everyone building in the same style is that I can just invite five people who build in the same style to make a base with me. Yeah, but if you think about it this way, uh, if you make the place look good before you build the automation, uh, building the automation is going to be so nice because you're building in a beautiful environment. I think I can actually start automating the building materials after these solar bottles are done. We should have some excess energy. That'd be nice. Getting some lab going. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I was thinking of we could maybe do a, like a mid-game base. This is the early game base, and then we do a mid-game base on the uh, west coast of the Sword Island. Uh, which is like maybe uh, our four or five yeah. buildings. I like the because... idea that we have like a... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, continue. Like a, like a port. Like a water yeah, yeah. Water have, there. Like a big base there. I like the idea of just a huge bridge going all the way to the main yeah, where the main cool. base will be. Yeah. 
but I, I'm pretty sure we cannot scale this small uh, lake valley to like IV or LUV while we're filling the base for the other zip uh, play in. So we're gonna need to make like a step gap, a step gap base for that. I don't know. I think we could. Quite a lot of space. I don't need that much space for EV. Yeah, but what about the assembly lines? I mean, I, I'm assuming we're going to take quite long to get like a proper foundation for the main base before we can move in. Yeah, I suppose. Were you the one who did this the micro blocks? <laughs> the fence Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why is it the same it. texture as the floor? <laughs> Because I only had stone brick. <laughs> Le farm. Thug shaker mind control continues to spread. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, we got cursed earth and stuff. Oh. Uh. I actually think we need... Mica. I don't know if we found that. Have we found that? Well, right? some, there's some mica in the in the EBF chest. There's some mica sheets and pulp, but I can get more. Yeah, but these because, pushes won't uh, answer. We need. What it. We need. Oh, yeah, because they're already FK, I guess. They're literally playing. I'm watching them. Oh, and it's literally standing here. But they're moving. Watch me as well. I'm gonna keep keeping Colin until he starts start playing the game. <laughs> Is he just logging in AFK? Yeah, it's farming the hours. <laughs> so he can say, oh yeah, I had the highest play time, I contributed. Yeah. Uh, where's the diamonds? Uh, it's this diamond ore. Oh, ore, right. Yep. Oh, I see, we got the graphite and stuff, yeah. Alright, I'll take three diamonds. Where's the division sigil? Uh, should be on the wall by the crafting table. Ah, excellent. How are the crops going? How are the bonsai stats? I'm not studying bonsai. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have a scanner, so how could I who I <laughs> that then? Oh, true. Yeah, you need the scanner. Oh, we're punching the uh, skeleton statue. I'm surprised this isn't causing lag. What? This isn't causing lag? Oh. The, uh, there's three of us punching the skeleton statue, and it makes a noise and spawns an arrow like in the statue every time. So there's like what? about 10,000 arrows currently. Yeah. <laughs> I click till it crashes. It's dark. <laughs> look, you should come look at it. There's so many arrows. <laughs> sure. There's so many. All right. I don't think I can move into the trophy. Hmm. Near which crafting table? Uh, the middle one by the doors. We didn't actually clean up the chests outside. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. 
It's just like, like I'm not the big one doing here. it. It's random basic macerator. Banana split. An LV one? Yeah, an LV macerator just in this chest here. <laughs> and a diamond ore. <laughs> Somebody is connecting again. Uh, not, well, sorry, maybe it's someone's like, maybe it's someone's chest full of shit that like they dump so that they and someone else could use it. The picture of the two spots, yeah. Cool. I double pipes, uh, because I will have the solar panels like uh, in two by eight, right? See, this should be done fairly soon, so I'm gonna show it. I still can't find this division sigil. I don't know which crafting table you mean. He stole it. That's why I can't find it. Oh, okay. Oh, it's in the magic chest upstairs. Oh, the magic chest <laughs> upstairs. In oh, uh, Twilight Magic, I guess. I see. <laughs> With Wait, let's do like three bronze. We can make lapis carlesses. Well, we can, but we can make like a couple of hundred blocks, right? Yeah. Although it, it is a diamond, so let's not under the way maybe get a di diary that's... farm going. Yeah, let's say. Diamonds are pretty, yes. I'm actually going to have to be the one doing the crops. Can I make a cutting machine? You don't have one, right? Yeah, I think we need one. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Also, I like how inefficient this is. Like, the uh, EO loss is so bad. Why are the machines in a line instead of like a cluster? Um. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm about to die. Anyone want to pass me two obsidian sticks? No. Oh, no. No, did you do it? No, why did you do it? Yep. <gasps> I thought it was wooden sticks. I didn't realize it was obsidian sticks. Uh. Well, I'm actually not... It doesn't seem to have done anything. Like, I'm just still sitting here. It hasn't exploded. Like, there's no timer. Uh, yeah, someone drops me two obsidian sticks. Well, I'm fine right now. Oh, yeah, if you if close it... Drop... Oh, right. If, yeah, if you close it... If I close it... Yeah. yeah, let me see. Uh, so someone drop me two obsidian sticks and I'll be fine. <laughs> um, have I wait, I'm giving you two. It's gonna be a while. Um, wait, can I make the sticks? Is there anything that's? Uh, uh, I, I, I spell... Ah, okay. I got it. Hey, nice. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Oh my lord! <laughs> I thought almost, it was vanilla sticks. Almost exploded. Actually... Yeah, it, for some reason the timer wasn't. There was no timer on it. It was just like they acted like the Mobius. Like semi stable ingots. Oh. That's so weird. Never seen that before. Why? Why would you do this? Uh, what? It's all bucket in here. No bucket in here. Uh, okay. Lava hit here, Milik. Please. Okay. Somebody threw a wither potion oh. on me. Oh. <laughs> the cow <laughs> sent me again. The cow. <laughs> that cow is legendary. Yeah. Dropped dropped me twice already. Was that you? Uh, maybe, yeah. yeah. One, dropped, one dropped 32 rod iron ingot nuggets. So I drop on the floor there. Music is really quiet. Let's skip this track. Hey. 
I just do Minecraft can't hear us through the stream. <laughs> uh, we almost have almost two and a half ounces of MV worth of steam. So if we have the LV stuff, we can probably start making some LV or processing. All right, so I can make some macerators and connect them, I guess. Yeah, couldn't we just like use high pressure uh, steam macerators as well? Like we don't need to use a grinder. We can just make normal machines. True. Also, do the steam boilers blow up if they fill up? The solar ones. I hope not. Uh, no, they can sit there full. They just they release the steam. They go Psh, and okay. like release the excess steam. Wait, do they need an an empty side for that? No. Okay. I've definitely set up like rows and rows of them. Well, high pressure ones anyway. I've actually kicked Colin twice already. Well, he's just locked in. I didn't do anything and kicked him again. <laughs> Wait. We're pouring creosote directly into basic combustion generators. <laughs> yeah, and the creosote is blue. That's so fucked up. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. I hate this. Oh no. More blocks. I'm so littering, I guess. Yeah. This is why I, I hate question marks. How many times do I have to say I hate question marks before we stop taking these plans? I don't know. Oh, it looks like someone's got a trash can or something. There's a bunch of stuff down here for uh, a bunch of like solar boils. There's like a bunch of yeah, don't well touch it. Rhode Island it's mine. Oh, don't, don't touch it. I didn't touch it. I just looked. Look, don't touch. <laughs> it touched it with my eyes. Oh, with your eyes. <laughs> my eyes assaulted it. Fair enough. Oh, the BBS are off. That's a problem. Because it's oh. full of ash. Interesting. Oh. I steal now. So we currently need, what, like, in bar? I actually need a lot of wood pipes for the same borders. I could help with that. I would like pot in. Sorry, pot and pipes? Yeah, I could I can get onto those. Uh, I wish these chests were labeled. Yeah. Pigment care if I get cobalt? Uh, so. They care if you mine anything. Huh. I can go mine that if you want, though. <laughs> I just need one dust. Right. Um, potent. So that's Wait. how many do you want, and what size? Uh let's see. I need at least like fifty, I think. Fifty. What size? Um, no, a good size. Large, highest, huge? highest possible, I guess, because they're gonna be the main steam pipes. Yeah, okay. Huge is twenty-four thousand liters a second. Uh, let's see how much that is. Yep, that's just enough. Slightly more, actually. Should be good. Cool. Alright, potion dust it is. Bronze, lead, lead, tin, bronze. Is pollution on? No, it's off. I'll go with the Stargate. Uh, well, <laughs> almost ready. Can you not see that this is a Stargate base? Here we have the BBDFs. Brick, trans, uh, whatever, I don't know. Yeah, Stargate is far off. We started yesterday, so it's gonna be like nine months before we get it. Oh, we need I, I restarted the server 
before I start the stream. So pollution is off right now. Oh, we need so much lead. Oh, no. We need so much silver still. This one. Oh, we need to go to the Twilight Forest, right? Uh, Wait, no, I don't need. Do we have a... Actually, never mind. I actually need one more stack of silver. That's not too bad. For what? Oh, for the. Um... Yeah. yeah. I we, thought I needed nine stacks, farm? but no one. We're on the front half. Yeah, we do. It's on the other side of the farm. Right. Two lead ore, okay. Uh, I think we need lead and silver. Wouldn't I have to use the bending machine to directly make the 3x? Ah, oh, no, it needs MV, okay. Alright, we have like no lead or silver. Should I go to the Twilight Forest and mine that? We have some silver, I think. I mine a lot. Although, then again, I'm using it all on this. Yeah, you might need to mine it. All right, because we got no lead either, so I need to go mine lead silver vein, because we need lead for potent. We've got like three ingots <laughs> and two ore. So, right -o. I do need to make a lag. Also, we're actually kind of low on copper. Can you alloy potent in the uh, smeltery? I don't know. I went from my study related work. Can you translate the correct new horizons? Ah. Uh. Not much at all, mostly like the planning parts. But it's so abstract it's that in Crackers and Horizons that like I don't have to do any of the control math or write tactic code, so yeah. Is the bottleneck for the EBF? Good question. I have no idea. I have not looked into the EBF progress at all. I assume like processing power, because we don't have enough steam to run the machines, so it's really slow to like uh, make the plates. But I've been making the solar boilers and they're almost done, that's the top of it. What is the next build you're going to do? Um, I think we have enough space to get to the MV right now, so probably nothing related to this. I think I will try to automate the lathe and maybe gas and start making actually high tech looking buildings next. But not sure what for yet. Wait, someone stole the fucking faucet off the smeltery. We can't, we can't use smeltery. Well, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to manually do this copper and stuff. Now we're just going to rush A2, but there's no point in making any of the pipe systems because by the time we get them running, they're already obsolete. Few more blades. Okay, I have like two stacks of silver extra.
Yeah, uh, actually, I was thinking of making a workshop next. So we can kind of consolidate things. I was supposed to play, but I was in the new look. If you have a few ingots of stainless steel from the loot bags or uh, dungeons, so I could maybe make the driver controller. So pretty, pretty nice. Whoa. Let me get this spoiler setting like... first. Why like forest with uh, amplified looks sick? I'm pretty sure it's so not. Cool. It shouldn't be amplified. It's just like coincidence. No, it's not, I've never seen the Twilight Forest. It like is ever. Uh, pretty amplified. Oh, it's oh, weird. It's, it's like a half cave. It's crazy. I've never seen it like this. Oh, interesting. You know? So hey, like um... We have power now, I hope. I... I know this water is going to be out. Well, it's going to explode. What's the worst? Worst thing could happen. Hello? Hello? Okay. My game? What? My game is crashed, I think. Oh. that. <laughs> what? I just placed a few boilers. Uh, really? Okay. Yeah, you crash. You're gonna. You're, you're gone. Yep. I suppose you also get cryolite from this vein, so it's not useless. I just crashed because I failed to load a uh, Stargate texture. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, Spawn in the Stargate. Oh great, now my launcher is crashed as well. Uh... Wait, do we have backpack tech yet? Or is that like... Uh, I don't think we have done any, any like, cows. So, no. We have leather. We have a bit of leather. Not much, but some. Yeah. I think we need to make like a breeding pit for the cows. Don't say that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> breeding pit. Oh god. What is a baby spider house better? It's actually quite interesting how much faster it's uh, it is to launch the mod pack for Colon. I think it's like less than two minutes. For me, it takes almost eight minutes to get the main ready. Really? Yeah. Is it launching? Hello? Should be. Uh, I don't see Java anywhere. Maybe it's. Great, my installation just broke. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Great. Um, hmm. Nice, nice script. Yeah. Couldn't extract native char. Uh, what are ballers? Uh, mod. Hi, Lynn. My installation just broke. Mod rejections? Wait, what? Yeah, you 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 got the DC, bro. Yeah, you have to restart your client updates. Oh. Okay, that's... how do I fix this? Um, this one's Steam macerator is so pathetic. There's an LV. There's an LV macerator we have. You know, Wait, I just not uh, try is, again. Is the multi-block one still broken? Yeah, it is. Damn. Wait, we still haven't fixed the fluid issue. No. Nope. No, oh, that's gonna be a problem though, because we can't look into a machine have any fluid in it. That's gonna. I don't know if it's problem. any fluid, or is it, I thought it was just creosote. No, it's a steam as well. Anything. Uh -huh. 
basically, most fluids shows up as missing textures in Wayla, and if the machines have it, have it in it, then uh, if you look into it, it crashes. <sighs> yeah, well, we can't Probably do anything with... downgrade. Uh, or, yeah, uh, well, we can't do, like, like, glue crafting or anything, right? Hmm? We can't, like, craft anything with glue, for example, then. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. Yeah, the server is using our planets. Um, looks like my pre-launch command is broken. I wonder why. Um, I think I can just not use it. Let me extract it first. Oh. What? What? It's launching now? Uh, my instance stuck on running the Python script. Yeah, same. Oh, it's because somebody with a slow connection. Oh, <laughs> right. I cannot launch my instance while it's sending things to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's it's uh, but it's a pretty big update, like fifty megabytes. So it takes a while to send. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, just give it a bit, and then I can launch. That should be fine. Yeah, I think if I restart computer, it will be fixed, but I, I just want to wait until Lin is done with the update, and then I should be able to launch. Alright, meanwhile, let me do my games and dailies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already did my Star Rail dailies before I started the stream. Massive weebs. Yep. Hey, Cloud plays Genshin as well. So does Rubix. <laughs> yeah, they're weebs, they're weebs too, then. Why is your connection so slow, though? Or is it just my server being slow? I don't know, mine took a while. Yeah, like but, but mine took like a few minutes, so um, a few seconds. I don't know. Great stream content, by the way, <laughs> watching my logs. Um, we're all here there we go. Absolutely exhilarating gameplay. We'll go Maven, hell yeah. And now I think yeah, I spot. should be able to launch. It's actually launching now. Yeah, you got all the months. Disconnect. Not connecting. Right, okay, kill. Okay, oh, uh, okay. and also uh, I think I think the reason why um the reason why the Steam Mastery doesn't work I think is related to the fluids as well. Like the steam ver we have is somehow like the fluids we have are like not the normal version of fluids. Somehow, I I don't know what mod that did that, but interesting. I mean, at least the steam turbine still works. Hey, okay, now let's hope this launches normally. If it doesn't, then it's broken. Do I need to be keeping stone dust? Are we actually going to use that for anything? Uh, it doesn't launch. Stone dust? Uh, you need it to make um more uh, brick blast furnaces. Oh, true. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, so I'll keep and... a few stacks. Yeah. Hmm. We also need. We also need just to make concrete, which you need for a few things. Yeah. True. We're gonna need it for the uh, clean room. I, don't right? even, I think this is. LAGD, whatever that Java thing is related. I mean, download that. Good job. Wait, no, that's the wrong thing. I'm the Google. There is no travel running in my task manager, that's a problem here. Oh, I, I, I can track the individual processes, let me do that. Uh... Nope, doesn't seem to be any travel in here. Same. Yep, no travel. 
Mm. I mean, I guess I, I'm pretty sure if I restart my computer, that's gonna work. So I'll do that. Um, that's, that does mean I have to stop stream. So I'll be back in like five minutes. Uh, and bye.